Has anyone seen the dog out? Just a quick disclaimer, our fictional after credit scene this week contains images and sounds that some viewers may find disturbing. Starting off the news this week, a study published in the journal Psychophysiology has looked at the role of the heartbeat in the perception of time. The study starts by acknowledging that empirical evidence in this area is rare, despite numerous theories. This study says that it was able to find evidence to suggest that our moment-to-moment -moment experience of time passing is indeed linked to the heart. Time perception is usually tested over longer periods of time, however this study was done measuring time perception on a very small scale, between individual heartbeats. A computer played tones to the participants of the study based on their heartbeats, with the tones being perceived as shorter with more sparse heartbeats and vice versa. The research concludes that this shows that our perception of small-scale time is linked to bioenergetics and this in turn assists the brain in managing resources based on how the body is currently functioning. And now over to Ben with a brief bit of paleontology news followed by- Thanks Doc. Also in the recent news is a fantastic new paper that has performed a molecular analysis on the eggshells of giant elephant birds. The Madagascan elephant birds, enormous flightless birds that were related to the kiwi and only went extinct around a thousand years ago, are still quite a mysterious lineage, with an incomplete fossil record and poor preservation of biomolecules in their skeletons, making their study challenging. This new paper though has been able to investigate the genetics of these birds thanks to molecules recovered from their eggshells, all dating to between 1290 and at least 6190 years ago. So what did they find? Interestingly, a new lineage of the genus Apionis seems to have been recognised in the far north of Madagascar, and it's suggested that the genus Mulleronis needs to be reclassified into a separate family of elephant birds. The elephant birds of the Holocene of southern Madagascar seem to have been quite low in diversity though. Amazingly, the study also found that the largest species, Apionis maximus, probably grew to giant sizes only in the last 1.4 million years, indicating that gigantism arose relatively rapidly in this group, likely due to fast-changing environments and ecosystems across Madagascar. A fascinating new study then that adds a lot of new information to this spectacular group of birds. Also in the recent news is the official launching of a Kickstarter for an absolutely amazing looking new paleontology documentary. Forgotten Bloodlines Agate is a project that aims to photorealistically recreate the ecosystem of the Agate Fossil Beds, a locality in Nebraska that preserves fossils from 20 million years ago during the Miocene Epoch. This environment was home to all sorts of incredible and bizarre prehistoric animals that are rarely reconstructed, including calicophers, relatives of horses that have huge claws on their feet, miniature camels that look like gazelles, and giant carnivorous relatives of hippos and whales. Not only does the animation that we've seen in the trailers so far look absolutely stunning, but this documentary is also going to be narrated by Nigel Marvin himself, which is just brilliant. Three 15 minute episodes have been planned, but now the project needs your help to be funded. I've put a link to the Kickstarter in the description below, so please do be sure to donate and spread word of this amazing project. It really would be fantastic to see this amazing project brought to life. Anyway, back to Dog in the Studio. Thank you, Ben. Well, that's it from us this week. I do hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you on Sunday. Thing. You would have said something already. Yeah. You're probably right. What the hell was that? It's what's necessary. Come on. We have to find someone else. I gotta go pee. Yeah, I'll uh. Alright. Be quick.
So he finally asked for help. 